So I have a number of Raspberry Pis. This is a Raspberry Pi model A plus version 1.1. A little bit of an older Pi. This is a Raspberry Pi 4. And I use them for lots of different things. For example, uh, I'm using this Raspberry Pi to try to figure out um, a way to measure the water level in my sump pit. And there's actually a project online that I'm using to do that. Uh, but it needs this, uh, this little device that uses ultrasonic uh, sound waves to measure the distance between this and something. So whether it's the wall or my hand. Uh, but the thing is, I have a lot of these kind of projects. I have all these different connectors and these different sensors and LEDs and resistors and things. I also have another few boxes in other areas that have more sensors and a lot of different things to do these kind of projects. But it gets a little bit clunky and you have to look up all the, the ways that you connect these together. Uh, you have to get usually a breadboard and get all these cables and if you don't have the right cables you need to crimp your own connections. So I've always been looking for a way to do these kind of prototyping jobs and figure out how to do things uh, with Raspberry Pis quickly and, and figure out um, you know how to get the software working and all that kind of stuff. And I also had another need. I have a son who's seven and I want to start teaching him programming and uh, using Raspberry Pis and, and things like that. Showing him this is not uh, necessarily the most interesting and, and easy uh, introduction to Raspberry Pis and things. So, I was very excited a couple of weeks ago when someone from Elecro contacted me about the Crow Pi 2, which is a new, they call it the all-in-one Steam learning platform and Raspberry Pi laptop. Now, looking at the video for it, uh, there are a few parts in the video that are a little bit, uh, the, the English, the way that English translates uh, is a little bit interesting. Or even, you may be curious how the documentary in BBC Channel captures the moments of live animals. Uh, but overall, I did like the idea of it. Basically, it has uh, a lot of different project things, and you can even see this is the same sensor uh, as is in the board. And everything has a structure to the way that it introduces you how to use all the different parts on the board and how to do different activities. So I was interested in it, and I wanted to make this quick video because uh, right now, this is on uh, Kickstarter. You can currently uh, support Elecro and, and their building of this. This is a slightly pre-production model, uh, so I have to give that quick warning. There might be a couple things that are a little bit different in this package that I'm getting. But I thought I'd unpack it, uh, show it around to you, and what I'll be doing is over the next few weeks, I'm going to be uh, starting off the, the 2020 school year, 2020-21, uh, and since we're homeschooling this year for uh, my son, I'm going to be letting him play around with this and we're going to do some activities together to see to see how it uh, how it works in that kind of context. Now he's seven. This says age is eight plus, uh, but I would imagine that a seven-year-old could get something out of it as well. So let's get this open. And the first thing I should note is this is a little bit of a heavy box, so... If you're expecting to get like a MacBook Air type of thing out of this, that's probably not going to be what it is. And it looks like there's a few different activities, uh, things you can fold together. These look like uh, different Minecraft blocks, brick and bookshelf, gold block, grass, a lot of different things that have to do with Minecraft. So that'll be fun to do. Uh, I know there's ways you can identify things in Minecraft and have them uh, appear on your Minecraft <coughs> on the Raspberry Pi while you're while you're setting these physical blocks down. Uh, so that'll be something interesting to look at. It has a little user's manual. Uh, so it has all the, the overview of all the parts and the, the different things that we can take a look at. Um, so I'll be going over those more in detail at some point. This is the actual Crow Pi 2 itself. It's actually more compact than I thought it would be. It's, it's definitely kind of thick. Um, I'll get it out of the bag here. Uh, but it is it is a lot thinner than I expected based on the size of this box. Uh, so let me get this out. And put that bag away. And it looks like there's not too much else I have to pull out of here. Looks like this actually came with a Raspberry Pi pre-installed. I don't know if the production model will have that. Uh, but you can see that it's a Raspberry Pi 4 already installed. Uh, so that'll be... It'll be interesting to see what model they put in. It looks like there's a micro SD card attached too. I don't want to break anything right now, uh, but on the back side there is this little tray. 
Now I looked online and it looks like the way that this tray works is you could put a battery in and I have a couple extra batteries but mine are too thick for this tray so um, the other thing you can store in here is extra little parts, wires, things like that. Um, so anyway, before we get into that, I'll show you what else is in the box. There is a power supply here. Uh, looks like a 9 volt. Let's see, no, 12 volt, 2 amp power supply. So that, I guess, gives power to the entire unit through this uh, little barrel plug over here. So there's a power supply. There's a bunch of resistors, LEDs. Um, pins and things. There's a couple push buttons. I see a, a couple transistors. Um, so I guess different parts for different projects that you can work on. What's in here? This is, it looks like there's an RFID key. Uh, there's an adapter for HDMI uh, to get to the screen, I guess. There's a little remote control that will be interesting to play around with. I guess there might be an IR sensor in there. And I guess another RFID card and another micro SD card. So it's a 32 gig class 10. Probably not the fastest card in the world, but uh, it's nice that they include an extra one there. There is also an external mouse included. It's a wireless mouse. Um, so that's, that's a nice little addition that I wasn't expecting. And what else do we have? There's, um, this looks like a little servo. So you can do some other projects. Uh, this is just a, a DC motor and it looks like another, this is a stepper motor. So you can do some different uh, projects. This, the DC motor looks like it has a fan, so that'll be fun to, uh, I know my son has a snap circuit and uh, the snap circuit has a fan on it and that's always their, their most fun thing because it spins very fast and that kind of thing. There's also, let's see, what is this guy? A moisture sensor, so that looks like it'll be fun to check out and some little pads I guess and over here oh wow so there are two controllers and I think that on Kickstarter there might be different models you can get uh, and this might be like the deluxe one that comes with all these extra accessories so two controllers that you can use to play video games on Raspberry Pi uh, or even use for different controllers like you can connect these up and then use them to um, to actually control motors and other devices and things like that. So a lot of different things here that'll be fun to check out and uh, and see how they work with different things on the ProPi. So I'll open up the actual unit and we'll see what's inside. So you have a screen, I think it's like an 11 inch, 11 inch 1080p display. I always like taking those off and seeing the nice display underneath. And then there's this keyboard and trackpad that are wireless and integrated with the body. It looks like there's magnets. There's magnets so it stays in decently well. If, you, uh, if you're if you running around and, and jumping and things, that would not be good for this laptop. But uh, but the keyboard does stay in pretty well. Um, it's not bad. It's I mean, obviously you're not getting like a $300 keyboard. Uh, but it, it, it does feel okay. It, it's a little bit flimsy in the middle. So... Going along with the theme of this is not like a MacBook Air, you're not going to buy this thing to use as your main laptop most likely. Uh, but it, it could be used in that role uh, with a Raspberry Pi 4. It has a built-in fan, which I like to see because the Pi 4 gets fairly hot and uh, you wouldn't want to have the Pi 4 running inside this case without any good ventilation. But you can see there's all kinds of different uh, things in here. There's a bunch of push buttons in a grid. Uh, there's a little display, there's the uh, the ultrasonic distance sensor, it looks like this is a DHT11, there's a, a temperature and humidity sensor, a tilt sensor, uh, there's another little uh, active matrix display down here, a little LCD, uh, there's the RFID sensors, uh, light sensors, all kinds of different sensors in here. And, uh, the idea is that you can work with all these different sensors and uh, CrowPi has a set of of different um, activities that are kind of pre-planned and, and have guardrails on them so you can learn how to do everything with this. Uh, so I'll be interested in figuring all this stuff out with my son. I'm not going to uh, boot it up in this video, I'm just kind of showing you the how it is, uh, what what comes in the box here, at least with the model that I got. And uh, it, it does have definitely enough to get you started. And uh, once I get it started up, I'll, I'll start uh, making some notes and, and figuring out some things that I can show 
on how everything works with it. Stay tuned and in the next video on this I will definitely have some more information about it. I have a policy, in my family we have a policy of not uh, having our kids on social media so my son won't be appearing with me in the YouTube video but I will give some, some, uh, some notes and discussion from what he and I learned together on it and how how well it's worked uh, for at least a seven-year-old going on an eight-year-old who sometimes thinks he's about a 15-year-old. But um, look forward to that next video. Please subscribe and thanks for watching. And hopefully I can stay out of the hospital long enough to be able to get this video done uh, sooner rather than later.